name is Becca. I'm Sarah. And we're going to show you a tour of the Hartman Center today. Woo. That's our theater building. We'll even get to see a backstage peek at Mr. Burns, a post-electric play we going on. We are both on. in it. It is happening tonight at 8 p.m. Um, my name is Becca. Like I said, I am a theater arts, public relations, and Spanish triple major. I'm a senior from Glen Ellen, Illinois. And I'm Sarah. I'm a theater and advertising double major from Chicago. I'm also a senior. And we're going to show you our home. Yay, home away from let's home. go. And if you have any questions throughout the tour, we will be happy to answer them. Type them in. We're ready to answer. Yes, we are open books. Come on in. <laughs> All right. Welcome to our lobby here. Um, here in the Hartman, we have all of our previous shows along the walls. They're super cool. So these have been happening um, from our freshman year up till our junior year last year. A little little peek of everything we've been a part of here, which is super cool. You might recognize some names on the wall. Spring Awakening is a very popular show we did two years ago. It was very successful here. It was super successful and <laughs> super fun too. Um, we also have the opportunity to do Shakespeare shows as well as a lot of modern things. Mr. Burns was written in the past 10 years, so that's a really modern show mm -hmm. that we're having the chance to do now. Yeah, and a bunch of musicals as well. We try to do a musical each year as part of our four main stage productions, usually the fall slot. Um, we're gonna show you one of our studios over here. This is the design studio. Welcome. This is where we have our design courses. Uh, what's the big about Bradley Theater is that we really preach becoming a well-rounded theater student. So besides acting classes, you're also going to be taking design, stagecraft, costume construction, uh, directing, producing, and theater histories as well. So this is where you have your hands-on courses. Um, my personal favorite I took in here was stagecraft. I learned so much. It was one of, mo one of the most practical classes I've taken at Bradley. And you learned everything from the fundamentals of types of wood to nails and tools in the shop, which we'll show you towards the end. And it, essentially, you help build the sets. And you have to do a pride in the band where you create a project for Habitat for Humanity. And it gets auctioned off for charity which is awesome and what did I, I created a birdhouse that was super fun <laughs> my favorite class that I took in here is called fundamentals of design we call it fundies Funny. because it's super fun <laughs> um, in that class we do a lot of basics of drawing how to create models how to create sets this is um, a model that our teacher for that class made um, for a show this uh, I'm not sure what show this is but it's absolutely incredible this is from fences I believe um, oh yeah you're right it's before our time and this is the kind of thing we learned how to do is how to make the small furniture and small people and take a concept and an idea and actually turn it into a set design. Which is super cool. Spent a lot of hours in this room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on out. Moving back through the lobby. Passing our lovely box office. That's where you guys can buy tickets to see our shows. Yep, tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday is when Mr. Burns will continue to run. What's cool is that our students here on campus um, for them, the price is only $5 for a ticket, which is a super discount, and they can use their meal plan money to pay for that ticket, which is really cool. It's a very cheap date. This awesome. is our beautiful cast of Mr. Burns. Our lovely photos along here. Sarah and I are down at the bottom together. Oh, <laughs> so What's really cool about our lobby display is that for each show, we try to make it an educational experience as well as a visually pleasing. So we collaborate with a publicist and dramaturg, and they're the people who kind of look up the history of the show and help you learn more about the background and that's for the actors to get a better understanding of the show. So over here, we have some information about nuclear power plants as well as The Simpsons, which is all relevant to Mr. Burns. How does that make sense? You'll have to come see the show to find out. Sarah and I are playing Itchy and Scratchy in the show. I play Itchy. And I play Scratchy. <laughs> so it's worth it to see just for that. It's exciting. <laughs> um, let's go and check out our actual main stage theater. That's where the magic happens here. Um, we also have uh, programs from all of our past shows up on these walls, which are super fun for us students to look at just to get a little bit um, of the history of what's been happening here ever since the ages. And my parents actually were here uh, back in the day, and so on the other side, they have programs from when they were here, so that's super awesome for me to look at. <laughs> blast from the past. It is. It's cool. All it's right. fun to share that with my family. Come on up to the main stage. A sneak peek at the stage. A lot of people don't have this access. You can go up on our houseboat for Mr. Burns, if you can see. It's, it's yeah. a houseboat. You can see a little light preserver. We can go through the doors if you want. 
Yeah, this is our backstage. Sarah and I spend tons of time coming through this door. We spend an entire act on this boat. <laughs> it's super exciting. We get to climb these really fun ladders too, so we have a really fun time playing around on this set. It's like a playground. Exactly. <laughs> so this is the kind of stuff you don't always see here. What's it's really cool, cool about uh, the Hartman Center stage is that it's incredibly flexible. So you'll see when we go back in a second, it's very, very deep. So we have a lot of flexibility regarding our shows. You can use the entire stage. You can use just the front quarter of the stage. So it's varied a lot throughout the past few years. We actually do both in the show that we're doing tonight. We have a curtain that goes up for one of our acts so that we're only using the front of it. Um, and we open it up for the next one mm -hmm. so that we have even more of a playing space, which is really cool. They and get it, to do both. And then even more for the third act, which is super cool. selling tickets like crazy. It's awesome. We've had uh, definitely over half of it full with about 150 people uh, every night this weekend. So mm -hmm. we were super lucky to have so many people come see our show. Welcome. Come on up. This is our upper lobby. This is where a lot of the Bradley Theater culture kind of comes together. Students like to hang out here. We'll play music. We'll do homework. A lot of students like to take naps on these chairs. They're incredibly comfortable. It's also where our teachers' offices are. And what's really great about the teacher-student relationships at Bradley in general, specifically in the theater department, is that you develop really close relationships with them. You work really closely with them, whether it's on a show, whether it's as an advisor, it's awesome. We call them by their first name, so it's super personal. It is, it's really cool. And this is really the place, if we were here at noon earlier today, this would be hustling and bustling with tons of students <laughs> walking around. Um, I saw some people singing hairspray earlier, so yeah. that's just the kind of thing you find here with theater <laughs> people. Uh, we also have our booth up here. So that little sneaky corner there leads you up to our booth, which is where all of the lighting magic happens for our shows. Mm -hmm. If you're into theater production at all, Bradley is especially a fantastic place for you because you're going to get so much hands-on experience starting your first year. Um, whether it's working run-through, whether it's working the light board, it could be student designing and assistant designing, lighting, sound, sets. Uh, it's really, there are unimaginable things that you can do. It's awesome. And so by the time you graduate, you'll have a full resume of experience. Our theater department has a theater arts major from which you can branch off into two different concentrations. You can go performance concentration or production concentration or just stick with the regular standard theater arts major course. So if you decided to take production or performance, you would get an extra like 15 or so credits. Mm -hmm. um, so that's about like four classes or to five classes extra in that specific area. So the performance classes have voice, movement, mm -hmm. um, higher level acting classes, while production go into uh, sound design, set design, lighting design courses, and stage management too. And the best part about our program is that you do not have to be a theater major to take any of those classes. So if you did theater in high school and you don't want to major it in college and you miss being part of a show, you can pick up a practicum for credit and that counts toward graduation. You can take an acting class, you can take stagecraft if you want, you can help build the sets. Uh, there really is no limit at Bradley, which is amazing. You also don't have to be a major to be involved in the shows at all, so you can definitely audition and not be a major. One of the leads in our show right now is a music business major, um, so you don't have to be involved in the theater as a major for your education to have a lead or be in a show at all. I started as a non-theater major and I was cast mm -hmm. in the first musical Let's Wear a Met. So a lot of opportunity here. Um, you can come up and see the backstage if you'd like. This is super cool. This is our backstage. So uh, later tonight this will be full of people running around in black clothing <laughs> trying to hide from the audience. Um, you can see our baby Maggie over there. So. That's part of our Simpsons family. <laughs> um, and so this is kind of where we're hiding out and hanging out backstage before the show. <laughs> see you, good. Come on this way. We're gonna go see our lab theater. The lab is home to a lot of student organizations within the theater department. Uh, there's Alpha Psi Omega, which is the co-ed theater fraternity. Uh, do you wanna explain? <laughs> yeah, so uh, Alpha Psi Omega, APO, is our theater fraternity here on campus. Um, it's basically like uh, the National Honor Society for the theater department. So we have several members of the theater department who are part of that. Uh, any student gets to be a part of it just yes. by earning 
points by working on shows, being in shows. Uh, usually by the time you're an upperclassman, you gather all of the points that you need to be part of APO. Mm -hmm. So it's a leadership fraternity we have here in the theater. Mm -hmm. And they help assign civs, so you kind of have like a big and little system for uh, theater. So when you're a freshman, you kind of get an upperclassman mentor, which is super fun. And so it's always something to look forward to. Additionally, we put on a bunch of uh, fundraisers like drag shows probably the most popular one Definitely. <laughs> happens in the spring it's a day-long process where you learn dances you choreograph it all in a day and it's all to raise money for a charity and that charity varies each year but it's so fun there's two performances people go crazy for drag shows it's amazing it's so fun uh, so this is our lab here the Blythe O'Sullivan studio um, this is another flexible space uh, we have all these chairs out here right now, but we could move them, rearrange them, um, make it a different sort of theater space. We have mirrors on the wall. A lot of our acting classes happen here, as well as our dance rehearsals for musicals. So we get to look at ourselves against the wall there. So that's super fun. Um, different events that happen here are usually through student organizations such as the MET, which is the Ministry for Experimental Theater. Mm -hmm. And they put on uh, an open mic night just a few weeks ago, and it had a huge crowd and audience, so people fun. doing slam poetry, singing, um, monologues, spoken word. It was super fun. Mm -hmm. Additionally, Barbecue Kitten is one of our other theater groups. It's our improv troupe on campus. And that's really cool because we have these Wednesday night rehearsals where anybody can come, anybody can play. It's usually outside of Bradley Hall or in the Williams cafeteria. And if you have never done improv before or you like watching improv, you're, you're welcome to just come by and watch or play. Super, super fun. And that's very popular on campus. Last year, we actually held a sketch show in here as one of our senior senior project. And so that was an example. We've also had cabarets, uh, another senior project. This girl, Hannah, really loved musical theater, so she wanted to put together a student run production of just songs, which is awesome. We were both part of those. It was really fun. Um, and again, like Barbecue Kid has a show every month, so that's a fun activity that lots of students get to be a part of. Um, we've also had a few different main stage shows happen in here. Mm -hmm. So uh, the year before we got here, they had a full-blown main stage production in this smaller space, which makes it uh, really cozy and intimate for uh, our audiences. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. It's fun. Woo. We also have a full lighting system up there, so that's what's really neat about this space, that we're able to put on shows in here, full-blown productions, sketch shows, cabarets, because we have the ability to light it, too, so you can see everyone. Additionally, there is a club called USITT, which is the uh, National Society for Theater Production People, and students in particular. And uh, so if you're interested in production, again, another way to get involved is through USITT. And they go to big national conventions each year, which is super cool. And that's a huge thing, a greater thing that you can be a part of as well. While this stairwell may seem bland, this is actually an awesome place for us theater people because it's super echoey, so we do a lot of vocal warm-ups in here. Uh, we're warming up before every musical. We're running the stairs. We're yes. doing all of our singing warm-ups, so uh, the stairwell is part of our home. It is. It is. <laughs> uh, welcome to the exciting shop. This is where you'll put your stagecraft use uh, to use, rather. Um, you got a lot of machinery around. You got a bandsaw over here. What's really great is that you are enrolled in stagecraft your freshman year if you're a theater major. So you know immediately about each machinery and the cautionary uh, stuff you got to take to be safe with it. Uh, it's super cool. This is where our set gets built. Uh, it's a really fun to work at uh, scene shop hours. We've all had to do it. And the cool part is that when you graduate, you can sign the wall with your class. So we have some class of 2015, our friends over here. Um, over here, we got uh, Eric Peterson is actually one of our distinguished alumni. I'll show you over here. He has been on the national tour of Shrek the Musical. I think I actually saw him, which is kind of a fun fact. I did too. Yeah, it was super cool. It was super cool. Um, and he's come here a few times. He's taught a master class. He performed the Sinatra tribute, which was huge here for a weekend in November. And he's super cool, so it's a really good alumni to know. He also is really big in Hollywood, does a lot of pilots on, on TV. Yeah. He's really cool. This, this shop is just a fun place to hang out. It's a great place to work. Uh, it's where I learned how to use three different kinds of saws, which is something <laughs> I never thought I was going to learn before. So it's really cool. Um, and we can look into our dressing room, Ooh. which is super exciting. Um, in here we have our costumes for the show tonight, as well as a whole bunch of our wigs. So here we have our Marge and Bart and Lisa wigs for later tonight. Um, we have our fun costumes here. 
Sarah's got her itchy ears. <laughs> so uh, this is where uh, Sarah and I are going to be in a few hours prepping yes. for a show. For quite uh, a putting on our makeup and getting all ready. So a lot of fun memories in here. Yeah, I it's a great this, bonding experience. I wear this mess of a wig in the show. <laughs> uh, I will try it on. Please do. I will. It's her Marge wig. It is my Marge Modern wig. Marge. My Marge. Ooh, kind of looks with the bun. It's kind of like a beehive up too. <laughs> it's super fun. And we have um, these awards here. As you can see, we have uh, an event that's called Mock Anthony's at the very end of the year. It's like our Tony Awards for the Bradley Theater. It's so. The and usually that happens um, when seniors are about to graduate, so they will down things to underclassmen students and their sibs, and they're given lifetime achievement awards, which is what you see the golden right here. And so it's something that the juniors put on for the senior class to honor them and their achievements in the theater department. It's super fun, super emotional. Well, this has been an awesome tour of the Hartman Center. I'm glad you guys could join us. Um, we hope that you guys learned a little bit more about our theater program. If you have any other questions, please find our page on Bradley's website. Mm -hmm. I'll follow the Bradley University Department of Theater Arts on Facebook as well. Bye! Thanks! <laughs>